So Lennox Lewis on the left, and you can see. A couple of inches in height and a couple of inches in reach over his opponent, Melvin Epps. <laughs> Tony Walker, our referee for this bout. Lennox in the dark trunks and Melvin Epps in the red and white. Lewis hurling contemptuously Melvin Epps to the canvas no count Lewis standing above his man glaring at him as he reclined on the canvas that was low 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 now tee the punches up quite rightly says Tony Walker that could have been very uncomfortable could have dislocated his knee if that had connected Just needs to calm down just a little bit and that's what Tony Walker is telling them just settle down let's not go mad well Melvin Epps vastly more experienced at eight times as many fights as Lewis but really all he can do at the moment is just stay out of trouble poke the left jab out and that was a good one and avoid Lewis's rushes Tony Walker a little aggrieved at the American set and run tactics. Can't say I blame him really. The American trap right above us now. And Epps getting a little bit aggrieved. The crowd getting a little bit aerated. Because at the moment, pretty it's not. And Once again, Lewis warned for low blows. Now, I tell you, it would be sensational if he got himself disqualified. Eh? That's not in the script. Well, I tell you, this is my first live glimpse of Lennox Lewis. And I don't doubt there is better to come, but very very clumsy very very raw very very green at the moment here is the man Crayford via Canada there you go 24 years of age rated four by our statisticians boxing monthly four fights four wins four inside the distance Melvin Epps his opponent will take a check on his record in just a moment. There is the Epps corner, 31 years of age, obviously not ranked in Great Britain. 34 fights, won just 13, lost 20, but of those 20 fights that he's lost, only one of those has been a stoppage, and that suggests a degree of durability about the man from Brooklyn. Well, round two, I guess you've got to give the first untidy round to Lennox Lewis just needs to settle down just a little bit pick his punches and suddenly 
tempers are fraying and as any pro will tell you you don't lose your temper in the ring and these body shots really are punishing and this is turning into an ugly and unsightly brawl now and I don't believe it I do not believe it but it is true Tony Walker has disqualified Melvin Epps that is quite extraordinary programs rubbish being thrown into the ring the crowd booing well I know that the referee in sole control but I have to say that is the most outrageous decision Epps cannot understand it and I must confess neither can I well what he did to get disqualified you tell me the crowd don't like it at all it was getting very ugly but surely a referee in more control than Tony Walker would have had better recourse than this crowd's reaction speaks for itself Hughes, the MC, can't make himself Ladies heard. In 30 seconds of round two, the referee has disqualified Epps for not obeying the referee's instructions. Ladies well, and gentlemen, Epps disqualified Lewis officially for not obeying the referee's instructions. His purse will be withheld by the Ladies British Boxing Board of Control. Please for the loser. Well, I have to say, I think that's a dreadful decision. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, for the loser and for Lennox Lewis, both boxers. All feuds forgotten. Well, I've seen some strange things in the ring, but that really ranks among the strangest sympathy for Melvin Epps I guess Lennox Lewis didn't do much wrong but that's boxing